Yeah, give me a second. I need to check some email. Oh, shh. What happened? So this happened to me today. The Acer Nitro 5 split from the back. So it's like a hinge is broken. So we're gonna to try to fix that today. And how we're gonna fix it? We're gonna be using these right here. I ordered these from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if your AC laptop breaks. Let's get to it. First, make sure the machine is off. Turn the machine over and lay it on something soft such as a placemat. Remove the screws as well as the bottom panel. Disconnect the battery. Put the bottom panel back on without the screws. Turn it right side up. Gently lift the display. Pry the bezel away from the lid. It should be pretty easy since it's already damaged. Here we can see what the problem is. One of the support bars has broken in half. We're now going to remove four screws. Take caution as the display panel will become loose and fall. When all screws are removed, fold the display panel down. Next, fold the support bars down to the closed position. The right side is broken, so I will have to push down on the base of the support bracket. You may have to use your hands, as the screws are removed from the actual cover itself. Be careful not to put any pressure on any wires in the area. The plastic panel will be loose, so you will have to hold it in place. Next, remove the bottom panel again. Get the replacement parts and identify them to their proper side. The right side on this laptop has a loop on the base that is very easy to distinguish from the other side. We will need to remove three screws from each side. This is the tricky part as you have to guide the piece from under the wires. The best way is to try and open the support bracket a bit to around 40 degrees. This will require you to lift the laptop slightly. Again, be careful not to damage any wires while doing so. Do the same for the other side and don't forget to remove the tape that is connected to the support. The original pieces are very difficult to open compared to the new replacements. Do not put any WD-40 or oil to make it easy to open. This will cause your laptop lid to actually not work as intended and will not stay open at different positions. Put the pieces on the same way you took them off. To make it easy, be sure to open them around 40 degrees.
remember the wire placement. If you have to, take a picture before doing so. I put one of the screws in the wrong hole as you will see later in the video. When finished, put the bottom panel back on without the screws. If you try to put the display panel back on, it will be very difficult without clamps or, hopefully you don't, have a third hand. The best way is to turn the machine upside down with the keyboard vertical. Gently open the replacement supports by holding onto the base where it is the strongest. Anywhere else will cause them to bend and snap. Line up the supports onto the black guide pins. They are very small. Next, lay the display panel on top. Reinstall the four screws. By the way, my panel was clean until I started dismantling the laptop. The thing was filthy inside. Anyway, tidy up the wires into the grooves so they won't get pinched. Put the bezel back on and press all around the sides. Flip the machine over and remove the cover one more time so we can connect the battery. Everything was good? I went back over the screws just to make sure they were tight. Mind you that the screw is installed in the wrong spot. Put the bottom panel back on, but don't put the screws in just yet. We're going to get there. Turn the machine over and give it the open and shut test. And what I mean by that is open it a few times back and forth to make sure everything is right. It looks like this needs to be shut back here. Shut. Open. Shut. Open. If all is good, power the machine There on. you go. If that works, now you can finally put the screws back in. And about that screw. I think I put a screw in the wrong spot. This screw here goes here. Huh. Time to replace it. good to go thanks for watching <laughs> everybody makes mistakes <laughs> sure everything is a-okay on the back
this video helped you, don't forget to share and like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.